I'm going to go with a team that's no longer in the playoffs, and it's the shirt that Kay's wearing right now, the New York woo, woo. Jets. When the Jets announced that they would be hiring Robert Sala as the team's 20th head coach in their franchise history, I think even the organization was taken aback by how positive the fan reaction was. And the fan base is energized, enthused, they're enlightened right now. And it might be the first time in years because of the guy that they're hiring. I can tell you he's in the building this morning. He has arrived. He oh, wow. flew he's in here? yesterday. He's in the building, he's meeting with ownership and with Joe Douglas, and what I learned is I didn't know his whole story. You know, I've personally gotten to know Salah over the last 10 years, and though some of the people that I trust and admire most in the league, whether it be Matt LaFleur, Kyle Shanahan, Richard Hightower, Sean McVay, speak the world of him and his ability to connect with others, I learned something new about him after he got the gig. I had no idea his personal connection to the New Jersey and New York market, and why an event that happened 20 years ago, right across the street from where we filmed this show, is one of the reasons he's an NFL head coach. September 11th, 2001, mm. David Sala, Robert's older brother, was taking a short coffee break at 8.46 a.m. in the morning from training to be a financial advisor at Morgan Stanley on the 61st floor of the World Trade Center's South Tower, right here in Lower Manhattan. When he felt the force of the first blast, David decided to head to the street level and get out of that building. And instead of returning back to his desk, he was outside the towers when the South Tower collapsed. He watched it all in dismay. Miles away in Michigan, his younger brother, Robert, was also in a training program to be a financial analyst. And when his older brother called home, Robert, who was just 22 years old and right out of college, had a realization. He said, I don't want to work in finance. I don't want to be in a cubicle. I want to do what I love. I want to coach football. And thus started this crazy 20-year journey from being a graduate of Northern Michigan University and in a shirt and tie in the finance world to becoming the head coach of the New York Jets 20 years later. Sala, who's the son of a construction worker, is as blue collar as it gets. He's a father of six, he has a seventh on the way, mm. and he has worked for every opportunity on his personal coaching journey. But he also has real roots through his brother David and their shared 9-11 experience to the New Jersey and New York market. I learned all about that after he got hired. The Jets fans, they are excited and they should be, and so is he. This one feels different than other Jets hires, and I think Robert Sala is the perfect fit to be the coach of Gangrene.